Hello my intuitors, it's Aria here. Welcome to the Intuit Cafe. And I'm just shuffling the cards right now, just about to leave them out for a reading that I'm going to do this week that I thought the focus would be really neat to do on what I'm calling the heart of the soulmate. And depending on how this works out, I might just start making, a re making it a regular thing. But one of the things I've really discovered as a card reader is that when I have something a little bit more focused to do a reading on, I get a lot better messages and information that comes through. First of all, I just want to apologize. I didn't do any readings during the week. I had a number of private readings that I was doing, but I was also kind of feeling a little um, stuck on daily readings and feeling like I didn't really um, like what was coming through that much. It wasn't, to me, it wasn't all that exciting or interesting. Maybe it has been for those of you who've watched it and I appreciate that. I found that I get a little frustrated and a little bored when I'm not, when I'm just doing general readings and I'm not reading for specific clients. When I do private readings, I get so much more specific information that comes through because I am tuning into one person's energy. But then the message that is created in that process ends up being so good and so much better, I think, than when I'm doing general readings that I had, I had kind of an epiphany today and I was like, you know, I really wish that I could have like a, a private reading for someone, but then post it for public viewing and then allowing the viewers to, you know, view, so you'll be able to see the questions that were asked. And of course, just, you'll know, you'll be able to resonate if this message is going to be similar or something along the lines of where you're headed as well. So it's kind of like your own intuition ends up tuning into the message and deciding even ahead of time should I listen to it or not is it going to be you know filled with messages that are for me or not I would like to have a, a number of people with wide variety of questions messaging me asking for readings that you know will be published publicly with no names or anything attached but because you're kind of doing me a favor for my channel by allowing me to publish it publicly I'm going to kind of return the favor in the sense that instead of asking for a specific price for the reading, I'm going to do readings on a donation basis. So allowing you as a viewer to offer, you know, whatever it is you feel like you can afford, a energy exchange that's reasonable, go ahead and make a donation to my channel and just say, I'm interested in doing and participating in the, um, reading by donation. I don't know how long I'll run that special. We'll just kind of see how it goes. But I'm really hoping that I get enough people volunteering that I can, you know, maybe be posting a new reading every day. And I'll, I'll be a lot more inspired uh, to do daily readings when I have variety. Because I find that when I'm just sitting down to do daily readings, I'm, I'm getting bored with them. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys will get bored watching them. Maybe I have a lot of people who love watching them regardless, but I think that all of us will get more out of it when I'm tuning into one specific person's energy and their situation and then allowing the rest of you to tune into that specific reading once it's already created. It's kind of like a pick a card reading, only it's a pick a reading reading. And you'll get to you know decide ahead of time is this going to be a message are these these questions are they similar to my questions that i have and then asking your higher guidance even to just tell you yes this has a message for you or no it doesn't so uh, let's without any further ado let's get right on into your reading by your sign the zodiac and thanks so much for watching liking and subscribing to my channel and we will talk to you soon All right, Cancer, here's our reading for, to, for this week, and this is the heart of the soulmate. We're seeing what's going on in the heart of the soulmate. This could be for someone who's in a committed soulmate relationship already, or someone who is connected with someone that they're aware of as a soulmate, even if you're not in relationship yet, or it could be someone who is just wondering about an, a potential person that may be coming in, and let's see what's going on in that situation. So the first thing that comes up is the scythe, which is about a quick and sudden decision. And to me, this always kind of takes place in a sense of there hasn't been decision. There's been an, a state of indecision for some time. And that, now that decision is coming in very quickly. And the decision has something to do with health and spirituality. It's the blossoms card, flowers, and health and spirituality and flourishing. The idea of that, that this cut 
is going to be in the realm or the area of health or spiritual in some way and with the nature of, of spirituality. And because of the cut, we get flourishing. I'm thinking about pruning. They're showing me, um, you know, pruning roses or pruning flowers. I have blueberry bushes I prune. And sometimes when I'm out there pruning them, I feel really brutal. Like I'm cutting off all these wonderful branches that could bear fruit. But the truth of the matter is, is that by cutting those branches, in the future I have way more blossoms and more flourishing. I get far more blueberries, they're bigger and I get more abundance by making the cut. And so what's happening with this situation here in the heart of the soulmate is that this sudden decision will end up bringing about, you know, flourishing in a way that is at this time isn't seen. Like when you're doing the cutting, you don't see that that's happening. It feels like, oh my goodness, I'm just cutting off branches. I want to keep all these branches, but in the end it does have a benefit. So um, what's really front and center though with all of this is the moon, which is about emotions and intuition. So whoever's doing this cutting is actually following their intuition and they're doing it. It's like an emotionally based decision, but it's like the good kind of emotions. It's not like when we think of someone making an emotionally based decision where they're being ruled by their emotions in an, like an unwieldy, you know, negative way. It's more that they're listening to their emotions, they're listening to their intuition. And that's really good to see because that's really what I feel um, most of the people who are watching this channel are, are identifying in some way with, you know, soulmate relationships, higher ideal love, divine love connections, heart catalyst awakening relationships. And that's really what we're all growing toward. We're growing toward, um, really coming at life and love and everything about, you know, living on as, as a human, as a spiritual person in a human body at learning how to integrate and utilize our emotions, our heart, our intuition more in our lives. And that's what this decision ends up doing. It ends up opening that up because it's about health and spiritual, spiritual health. So, um, what we end up from this is we have the ring, which is a promise or a contract and footprints, which is, is about the impression that we make on people and how we're perceived. So this is a ring promise contract to something or commitment to someone or something. And it's, we're perceived as having this commitment. So for those of you who, you know, are, are looking at a relationship toward having a higher level of commitment, the, um, I'm feeling like this person recognizes, because that's another thing about the moon. The moon is about recognition. Even though the words aren't on this card, that's the traditional meaning of the card. So the moon is about recognizing and seeing, um, you know, rec recognizing something. So what's happening is this person, part of their spiritual, whether this is you or the other person, part of their, part of their spiritual journey in making this decision is about recognizing that this um, commitment, this relationship, this ring or this promise is um, having, has had a really big impression on them. And it's like, there's a recognition of it. Like, I, I'm even feeling kind of like this aha moment, like, oh my goodness, I didn't really realize how much this person really meant to me. And, and to their like their spiritual growth. Again, this is heart of the soulmate. So there is a love, you know, we're going based on the premise of there being a love connection here. And so for one way it reads actually is making a sudden decision about, um, you know, that your spirit, they're spiritually seeing and recognizing the spiritual connection here. And they're making a commitment by this decision. This, commit, this decision has to do with a commitment. And, and it's because they, they have like this recognition of how this, um, this relationship of like the importance of it in their life or, um, what it really means to them to be committed to it in a way that they hadn't before. I'm feeling that this is very much the energy of the post eclipse season we just went through that it's kind of like starting to coalesce into a, um, into like action. So, you know, the, the clip season brings about all of this energy for shift and change. It brings about recognition, aha moments, and like, you know, we're really seeing what the impact is on our life in some way. And now it's, now it's time for action and the action comes. A, a scythe, the scythe is the sudden quick decision. And I want to just do, um, I wanted to clarify her here and I have ship or travel 
um, transportation. It's also about a journey. And so this could be just about a spiritual journey, but I think for some people, it literally is a sudden, quick decision about a trip. But the trip is going to have really big impact in their lives in a spiritual way in regards to this relationship as well. Let's do one more for about the footprints and the ring. And that's fuel, an acceleration after things have stalled. It's exactly like what I was saying. In this post-energy, uh, post-eclipse energy, um, there's kind of like not a whole lot going on during the eclipse times other than other what's underneath the surface. And now it's coming to the surface in a, you know, there was a quick decision. And then there's now um, an opportunity for, you know, forward movement because this there's been like a promise made. Um, you know, some kind of like a step, a footstep, even footprints, I'm thinking footsteps. Steps were made to, um, you know, toward making a promise, toward a commitment, toward a contract to someone or something. And that is going to have, you know, bring about acceleration. Things are going to start moving again after they've been stalled. So that's really good to see, Cancer. Thanks so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel. And... Uh, if you are interested in having a, a reading, again, it'll be like on a donation basis. And uh, reach out to me, in, information in the notes below, and we will talk to you. See you around soon.